Immigration, the elites, and the disconnect. I'm Brian Lilly with TheRebel.media. Ever since last summer, you have been hearing that Kelly Leach is controversial, a racist, a xenophobe, and an awful lot more, all because of her proposal to screen immigrants and refugees for anti-Canadian values. Leach and her supporters have been denounced in every corner of the media for this. Uh, they've been called divisive. They're tearing the country apart. It turns out that if any of that is true, then an awful lot of Canadians are actually united around what the media and political elites in this country consider to be, well, awful instead of downright normal. If Kelly Leach, her proposal, and her supporters are racist, then it seems that well, the majority of the country are racists, which of course is not true. So how can I say this? Well, there's a new poll out by Montreal-based polling firm Crop, one of the stalwarts of the industry. They took a survey of 2,513 Canadians for Radio Canada, the French CBC. Crop asked them about a wide variety of issues, from Donald Trump to populism, the conservative movement in Quebec. They asked an awful lot of questions about immigration, including Leach's idea of a, a test for anti-Canadian values. And here, three quarters of Canadians agreed with the idea. People taking the survey were asked to strongly agree, somewhat agree, somewhat disagree, strongly disagree with the idea that Canada should adopt the implementation of an anti-Canadian values test. Well, across Canada, 35% strongly agree with that idea. 39% somewhat agree, just 16% somewhat disagreed, and a very small 10% strongly disagreed. I'm going to be, bet that most of them strongly disagreeing work in the mainstream media where this idea has been denounced again and again and again and again. And yet here we have another poll showing strong support for this idea. Now, let me put this into perspective. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the silent majority. Politicians and most media types have been running away from Leach's idea, screaming racist and saying anyone that backs it is a racist. Well, at 74% support, stronger support outside Quebec than in the supposedly xenophobic Quebec, well, this means that well, the support crosses through all political parties. I mean, if every single conservative voter backed this idea, which they don't, that would at most mean 30% of the voting population right now backed it. Well, where do the other 44% come from? Well, they're liberals, New Democrats, Greens, Bloc voters, and yes, before someone comes into Canada, most of them are saying, let's make sure they're on board with what Canada stands for. Now, this poll, as I said, asked a lot of questions about immigration and multiculturalism. Generally, Canadians still have positive views of both ideas, of welcoming people and having a multitude of cultures fill the land. But that doesn't mean they want the country to change. They actually want what has happened for generations to keep happening. And that means the immigrants change more than the country does. Let's look at a few of the questions. A full 62% agree with this statement. 22% say they strongly agree. 40% say they somewhat agree. And that statement is immigrants of different races or ethnic groups should set aside their culture and try to embrace or adopt Canadian culture. That's what's been going on for years. The Italians or the Ukrainians came to Canada. And while we all eat spaghetti and pierogies now, well, they play hockey and speak English or French, depending on where they live, and most don't live in isolated ethnic enclaves. And as for how much immigration there should be, most Canadians are actually worried the rates are too high and will change the country forever. Two-thirds agree with this statement, which says, in the future, given the current immigration rates, our identity and culture will likely become a minority in the culture. A full 25% of Canadians strongly agree with that, 40% somewhat agree. Now, in addition to this, people worry about the integration of Muslims in particular and say that while long-standing groups like Asians or Italians or other groups like the Sikhs have integrated well into Canada, 57% feel that Muslims have not integrated well and 25% say they agree with banning Muslim in immigration. Now, none of these poll results show a racist Canada to me. Do racists exist in this country? Yes, they do. They exist in every country, in every culture. Racism, despite what academics may teach at universities, is not the sole purview of white people. What these poll results show is a country that is open and welcoming, but that wants to make sure that those that come to Canada come for Canada, that they come for our values, our way of life, our customs, our culture. It's those things that have helped make Canada great and make us a beacon to the oppressed of the world. 
It does no good for someone who wants to escape life in Karachi or Mogadishu to then turn around and change Canada to be more like those places. That's what they left. And trust me when I tell you that most immigrants leave for a reason. This poll shows that while Canada remains open, well, we want to protect our borders and our culture. And despite what our prime minister says, we have a culture. Canadians know it. The whole world knows it. Now, if only the political and media elites would listen to the great unwashed instead of drinking each other's bathwater, well, then maybe we could actually get something done on these issues. If you like the video you just watched, make sure you never miss a Rebel video again. Click here to subscribe or, hey, consider this. Head on over to the rebel.media and become a subscriber. Be, you know, be, be a member. Access the content that only the cool kids can get.